Today we're gonna take a complete look at BenQ's fantastic little Trevolo Bluetooth electrostatic speaker. And I do mean complete. I'm John P. Welcome to Geek TV. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Domain.com. Well, it's been a while since I showed you guys any electrostatic speakers. In fact, I think the last ones we looked at were a few years ago when I showed you the Martin Logans, which are my favorite speakers in the world. But today, we're gonna take a look at the world's first Bluetooth portable electrostatic speaker, the BenQ Travelo. Before we get to that, though, Here's a quick recap because electrostats are a completely different kind of speaker system. Traditional speaker design starts with some sort of a cone or panel that's connected to a magnet. The magnet sits near a coil and when current passes through the coil, it creates a charge that repels the speaker magnet, forcing it to move the air at a specific frequency. When you look at a traditional speaker, you see a variety of small, medium, and large drivers because each size is able to move at a different rate. For example, small ones can move very fast, recreating high frequencies, but they don't move enough air to reproduce punchy bass. But electrostatic speakers do away with the big, bulky drivers altogether. Instead, they rely on a thin film sandwiched between a couple of metal grids. And when an electric charge is applied, the entire film vibrates to move the air. Now, since these sheets are incredibly thin and light, they can move much faster than any traditional driver. Plus, they have enough surface area that they can move a lot of air. So a single electrostatic diaphragm can do the same work as multiple traditional drivers. Which brings us back to BenQ's brand new Travelo folding electrostatic Bluetooth speaker. The Travelo is relatively compact. It's a portable speaker that weighs in at 2.6 pounds and when folded up, it's around seven by five by three inches. Now it's not gonna fit in a pocket, but you could certainly drop it in your backpack and take it anywhere. I'm guessing that a good chunk of the weight is in the battery because the Travelo offers up to 12 hours of playback, which is pretty impressive. And you can keep up with the battery status by watching the glowing ring around the power button. Blue, green, and red correspond to plugged in, on battery, or basically near death. Now normally having big electrostatic panels would be inconvenient in a portable speaker, but BenQ has turned that liability into a benefit by ingeniously hinging the electrostats so they fold for easy transport. By the way, another unique advantage of electrostatic panels is that they radiate sound out both the front and the back. So if you were to set the speaker in the middle of a room, let's say, and walk around it, you'll hear the sound both in front and behind it. The one thing electrostatic panels don't do so well is recreate bass. There just isn't enough mass in the diaphragms to get that done. So the Travelo also has a woofer and a passive radiator packed into the little body. The pair does a great job of reproducing low frequencies to match the excellent range of the electrostats. When you listen to a wide variety of music, sometimes it's useful to be able to apply different EQ settings just to spice things up. And the Travelo includes three different sound modes that you can cycle through by hitting the mode button. When you tap the mode button, you'll see it flash either green, red, or blue to correspond to the different settings. Green is the pure mode, which is essentially a flat EQ setting. You get audio exactly the way it was recorded. Red is the warm mode. It cranks up the bass and a little, you know, turns down the treble a bit. I didn't have any music I really preferred in this mode, but I didn't try polka or accordions or anything like that, I don't know. The blue mode is the one they call vivid, and I could definitely detect a lot more treble. The mode settings are important because the primary method of connecting to the Travelo is with a Bluetooth 4.1 wireless device and most phones and tablets don't allow for easy EQ settings. By the way, the Travelo also supports Aptex high quality audio codec support. Of course, if you want to plug in your Travelo with an actual cable, you can use the standard 3.5 millimeter analog audio jack with basically any source or you can plug in a micro USB cable and get digital audio straight from your source, like a laptop. The Travelo also features a line out jack, and when you plug a second speaker into that port, it shuts off the primary and just kind of acts as a pass-through. 
Interestingly, when the Travelo is connected via USB or Bluetooth, it will pass audio through the line out analog jack. So you could actually use the Travelo as a really expensive Bluetooth receiver to pump audio into an old amp or something like that. It's a good idea, although personally, I think I'd rather just have the ability to daisy chain units together the way Braven does it. Stop the presses! Before we move on to the rest of this review, don't forget today's episode is brought to you by Domain.com. You can head on over to Domain.com and use coupon code GEEKBEAT for 20% off all your domains and web hosting. So I don't know, maybe you want to do a whole review website about audio equipment like this speaker. Head on over to Domain.com, use coupon code GEEKBEAT for 20% off, and do it! One last thing, since it's a Bluetooth speaker, it also doubles as a speakerphone with an integrated noise-canceling microphone. I tried it on a couple of calls and it seemed good to me. Uh, no complaints from the people on the other end, plus you can turn it up as loud as you want. The Trebolo isn't yet available on Amazon, though you can sign up for notifications of availability or you can pop over to BenQ's website and actually pick one up direct for 300 bucks. So, let me sum it all up for you. First of all, this little speaker sounds absolutely amazing, with one little exception, off-axis listening. What I mean is, as long as the electrostatic panels are pointing directly at you, the quality is unbeatable. If you move away from the sweet spot, you begin to lose some of the sharpness that really makes them stand out. This is a general problem that all speakers suffer from. The reality is that not all portable speakers are even capable of sounding this good. In fact, I don't think I've ever heard anything in this class before. But I mention it because if you're just looking for a Bluetooth speaker to set in a corner of your garage while you're doing projects, you might not get the most benefit from the Travelo. Some competitors like the iLoud are going to give you more volume for the money, and the Travelo certainly isn't going to be durable or waterproof. But if you're looking for something for a bedroom or office and you truly appreciate high quality audio, nothing competes with the BenQ Travelo in terms of sound quality, good looks, or coolness factor. That's it for today's show. If there's anything you really want us to take a look at, feel free to tweet me at John Pose and I'll see if we can't help out. I'm John P. Thanks for watching.